Hello, everybody. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Denise Gagne, and joining me on the webinar today, we have Jason. Give us a wave, Jason. And we have Carrie Lynn and Danae that are all part of our uh, Music Play team. And we have John Jacobson with us today. Yay, John. Um, we're delighted to have you with us as we talk about bunny fun. And so there's teachers in schools where you can't talk about Easter, but bunnies are so cute and we can talk about bunnies any time of year. Um, I have to share that I was driving with my grandchildren out of my clothes and there was three white bunnies because our bunnies turn white in the snow um, chasing each other around a field. They were just going nuts. I wish I had gotten a video of it because it was it was crazy and it was fun. So I'm going to start off today and then John's going to talk about his bunnies musical and then I will talk about some more bunny songs. So in the handout I'm actually starting uh, at the beginning where it says Easter songs but in many cases you can leave out the word Easter like in Easter Bunny, you could say Little Bunny instead. So I will screen share and take you to Hurry Easter Bunny. If you've ever done Mouse Mousy, you'll know that Mouse Mousy is a favorite chase game of the kids. And Hurry Easter Bunny is basically a piggyback song based on it. So it's Easter Bunny, Easter Bunny, hurry, hurry do, or the kids in all the houses will be catching you. And here's the kids and I doing this. You can see we're outside. This is springtime in Alberta. It's not exactly warm. And the Easter Bunny tags someone that they're past so you don't get tagged right away. And the ones who have had turns sit in the middle. This is a very small group, so I might not have kept them in the middle. But because this is such a good reading song, play the game with the kids and then um, go and read, read with them. So I would expect my kids to be able to read the TTs and the Taws. Ready, go. T, 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 T. T, 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 Ta, Ta, T, T, Ta. And some classes, if they've been doing Soulfish since the beginning of the year, will be able to read the So, Me, Do. So you may be able to use this um, as a, a Soulfish reading song for your kids. That again, depends on the class and that depends on a lot of um, a lot of factors, how much time you have them, how often you see them, and lots of teachers don't even teach Soulfish at all. But because it's there, we have a Soulfa Challenge activity, and this is fun for the kids to do. So this is an interactive that kids can complete. And again, um, I'll just show you, I know I've showed this a zillion times, but if I copy this and I give this as a link in a Google slide, the kids will see this when they get there. Um, log in as a student. And my uh, code is here because I've already generated. All they have to do is click access some fun and they're right to that particular activity. So that's really handy to be able to do that. The other thing that you can do that's really handy is adding it to your my list. So any of these activities that you want. So hurry Easter Bunny. It's in first grade. Um, I try and teach dough at the end of first grade. Not every year I would get to it, but I would try. And so that's what that one is there for. Then we have an Easter egg hunt game. And this one's called Little Bunny Hop. And I'm going to, oops, lost my music play online. I just have to type in M because it knows me well. And I'm going to go um, Little Bunny Hop. So here's Little Bunny, and you can see it says recently updated. If I go back to that, anything that we have updated recently, there is now a little flag. And the reason this is recently updated is because today we added Rhythm Hunt flashcards and a Rhythm Hunt worksheet. And this is what they look like 
if I cut them up. So I can cut these rhythm flashcards up. There's eight of them and I can hide them all over my room. And I would hide them in plain sight, not in a drawer or you know underneath a tub of something, plain sight so that the kids can find them. And there's numbers on them. They start with number one and they go to number eight. And then what the kids do is they do this rhythm hunt worksheet. And they, as they find the rhythm cards around the room, they write the rhythms down that are on these cards. Basically, it's just copying. But at this stage in grade one, that's a good thing for them to do. And then at the bottom, choose four patterns from above to create your own rhythm or write four new patterns. So challenge your kids if they're able to do that. And if they're not able to do that, well, that's okay. They'll get there next year. Um, the Melody Hunt is, uh, we put in Sew Me flashcards. So the flashcards are Sew Me and they're all Sew Me variations of Sew and Me, just because we know kids are a little bit behind after COVID. And then the worksheet, that goes with the Melody Hunt has little staffs. And not only do they copy out the melody that they see, but they copy out, or they, they trace over the treble clef. And I don't know what it is, but little kids are absolutely fascinated with treble clefs. And again, choose four patterns from above to create your own melody or write your very own so me melody. Um, if your kids have more notes, they might wanna try more notes, but I think I would just, stick to the so and the me. So this little game is intended, the original intent was the kids, um, I choose a few kids to hide the eggs. So I would still play the music while they're hunting and hiding. So you can see there's, there's my hiders. Have to be in plain sight. And the rest of the class is not supposed to be peeking. Now the ones who are waiting open their eyes and they go hunt. So if I want to do it the simple way, Hiding eggs is very simple. I could do color compositions with those different colored eggs. If I want to do the more complicated version, I could do either melody hunt or I could do rhythm hunt. And either way, I think it's going to be fun. So that is two of our little bunny songs. Another, I did this again. Another uh, bunny song that I have is Bunny Hides a Basket. And I'll just go to the one in grade two in, well, I'll go Bunny Hides a Basket. Bunny Hides. And it's here. And it's, oops, I went to the wrong one. Darn it. Okay. Go back to my search. I want the song, Bunny Hides a Basket. This is grade one. And so this one here, it is for dynamics. So it's to practice loud and quiet. So we hide a basket and then you sing louder as you get closer to the basket, quieter as you're farther away from it. So there's one like this in grade two as well. Tisket a tasket, let's find the Easter basket. Look up here, look down there, you won't find it anywhere. And the kids sing louder as you get closer, quieter as they're farther away. And I always tell the kids, you shouldn't sing louder than your most beautiful sound. So if they get too loud, then I have them clap the rhythm instead. Um, I'm gonna go to find the Easter basket instead of this one. So you can see the grade two one, find the Easter basket. There it is. And you can see here, there's concept slides about dynamics. So again, in the game, one child hides it, and then the rest of the kids, um, I, actually in this one, just one child goes looking for it. This time, let's get Richard to hide, and let's get Ayrton to find. So Ayrton hides his eyes, and Richard is the, the hider. 
always great deliberations when they're choosing where to hide the basket. And you have to speed them up because the game takes way too long. So this guy has got a good spot behind one of the ORF instruments. And then you'll hear as the class sings the song, Quieter When Ayrton's Farther Away. He's getting closer, so they're getting louder. Ah, and he's found it. I find with these kinds of games that I often have to um, spread it over two classes because the kids get too wiggly waiting for their turns. So that doesn't always work. Okay, I am going to, those are the three that involve the words Easter. Um, the rest of our bunny songs just involve bunnies. So I'm going to turn it over to John, who's going to talk about Bunnies the Musical, and I will stop sharing. Okay. Well, I then will try to start sharing as best I can. Anyway, welcome, everybody, and I'm delighted to be here and uh, talk about Bunnies the Musical. It's um, this is what an old man does for a living is, is dance around in bunny costumes. I don't have my ears here today because they're at my house and I never got a chance to go home and get them. But this was such a fun little musical to put together with uh, real life kids. And the, my favorite part was all we did was have the kids with these little bunny ears that you can get almost anywhere. And then some of them had little bushy tails out the back as well. But the best part was that even the parents in the audience put on bunny ears. So the audience was sitting there watching their kids up on stage with bunny ears on it. And it was absolutely hysterical. So we absolutely loved it, loved doing it. So anyway, I'm going to try to share my screen here. And I'm going to also share my sound because I want to show you uh, this should work. Hopefully. There we are. So it, just in general, I'm going to go to Discover first here because Discover is where I, I go back to. You You all know, have worked on this more than me, but um, you get back to where you see all of the wonderful things that are in Music Play Online. And then I'm just going to go down here to John Jacobson's Musicals. And if you click on that, you're going to see not just Bunnies, but all the musicals and programs that we have already. And I will just tell you that we have a few more coming very soon that I'm excited about. And um, you would just look here and you see all the different musicals. So take a look when you get a chance. And so as I'm going through this Bunnies musical, I hope you'll recognize that all of the same kind of elements that are in Bunnies are in all of these other musicals as well. So I'll click on, on Bunny here and uh, get it open. And so all the different concepts, the, probably the best way of doing this is for me to just to open up the Bunnies, the musical script. So I'm gonna go right here to extra resources and there's Bunnies, the script. OK, and it'll pop up in front of you here. And maybe the most fun way to do this, because it's not very long. I really intended this to be for the youngest kids, the sort of the K2s, K3s. And so it's not very long. So maybe just to get the idea, we'll just kind of go through the musical right as we are a hopping new musical. It's a very deep plot, as you can imagine. But um, the cute factor is through the roof because they're all just dressed as bunnies. And the whole deep thing is that they're, they're getting ready to go to um, a bunny hop of course. And they, in order to get to the bunny hop, they have to go through a dark forest where there are bears and fox and, and especially a bunch of rapping wolves. And so um, the first song is going to be about bunnies. And I, I thought it was just so funny, the idea of bunnies, like Denise was just talking about that. So you see three bunnies, but the next scene, you're going to see six bunnies and then eight bunnies and then a whole stage full of bunnies. So I'm going to go back to... Um, just back here and we're going to let's all I think if we, maybe we can all just sing through the uh, opening song together and I think I'm going to use these um, the the bunny this is the notation and lyrics and what, what as you can see right here the great thing about this one is that it's got the notation on a split track so when we did this in our workshop down in uh, Texas last year, we had a huge stage and tiny little kids who had hardly any chance to learn the musical before we actually performed it. And it was wonderful to have these split tracks because when we wanted to, we could actually goose a little of the recording if we felt like we needed it as support for the kids. So on this notation and lyric split, you would have that. And we would leave out the part, uh, any solos, or things that were in that so that you could the soloist could be live and then get some help from all that, uh, from the other kids. So that's what this would be. Um, so here it is. Sing along with me. 
as we go. Hopefully. And a, whole, a couple more bunnies come out of this case. This part right here, you can tell it right. I'm going to close this up here. Um, and then I would go going back to, uh, whoops, the, uh, back to the script. I'm going to go right back to our script. And just to get an idea of what it is. And you know what? The, one of the best things that we did in this first production that I wish I would have thought of this 30 years ago when I first started my career. So many times, with especially these little kids, they, they learn their two lines and they can't, and they say them and the parents know what they said, but the rest of the audience has no idea. So this time we actually did a, a like a closed caption above the stage where all of the lines and all of the lyrics were on, were on a screen so that the uh, parents could see actually what was being said. So one little bunny says, wowie, wowie, that's a lot of bunnies. I thought I was the only one, but after all, a bunch of bunnies is better than just one. Not, but look at us, all shapes and sizes. The bunny world is full of surprises. Some are black, some are brown. Some have ears that seem upside down. Some are white, some are spotted. Look over there, they're polka dotted. And then this one little kid, this always stole the show. One little kid went across the stage playing a drum and they all looked at the audience and went, energizer. That's very funny when you think about it. It's the energizer buddy. Anyway, he and he makes several appearances. I can see you're all falling off your chairs with laughter at that. I feel like we're, and this is a floppy eared bunny. And he says, I feel like we're different. But if you ask me, I like being part of this bunny family. I do too. It's nice to belong. Let's all sing our friendship song. And so we would go back now to, I'm just going to head back. Um, I've got this funny transcript thing right over my, oh, there we go. Um, so I'd go back to here, ah, rats. Okay, and um, the second song is really just a little friendship song here. And maybe this one we'll do just to show you the kind of different ways you can learn these songs. You can do it with the vocal track, 
and the accompaniment track that are here. And I want to mention to, the, to you too that all these vocal tracks and accompaniment tracks are downloadable because you almost kind of need to be able to download an accompaniment track when you're doing a musical, just in case you're out there in the you know gym and um, you know you're not and you might not have good streaming so to to run the songs on a live stream. So if I clicked on this vocal track here, for instance, you will see downloadable there. So I would recommend that you download these before your performance so that you can do that. And then the really useful ones are, of course, you can have just, here's the friendship song <laughs> the lyrics only. So you could reproduce these and hand them out to the kids so they can all go home and learn them. Um, just, just lyrics of all the different songs. And I like on these concept slides, you have two different choices. These are the ones where it's gonna play the songs so the kids can sing along and you can do it for the younger ones with just the lyrics. Um, which would be here, like looks like this, and it would go through it. And you, as the um, teacher, the director, can do, you'll have a demonstration vocals that'll be going along here. You can do it with the vocals or with the accompaniment tracks. And then you will click through the slides down here as the song is being played. So you can stop it, you can start it over. And, you know, I'm gonna close this here because I wanna show you, you can also do it. That one would be just with lyrics. This one would be with notation. So here's the second song. We'll try to do it with this concept slide with the demonstration vocals on. Funny descriptions. One of the things I really like about that song in particular is that you can do it. Um, it doesn't have to be with the Bunnies musical. If you just want to do a song about friendship, that would be a, a good one for you to uh, use and, you know, use it all year long if you wanted to. OK. And in the script that I've got here, that's all reproducible. We have um, the, the lyrics of the songs are going to be right in there. OK. So the second scene is the Bunnies talking about we're on our way to the bunny. Hop. Until we are there, we better not stop. To get to the bunny hop, we pass through the woods. It's the scariest part of the neighborhood. There are bear and packs, both big and small, but the wolves are the scariest of them all. Hopping is fine and a lot of fun, but if you see a wolf, you better run. And the Energizer buddy goes across the stage playing his drum again and go, like that. I feel like someone is watching us. Let's hide over there to avoid any fuss. And all the bunnies hide behind something. It could be behind the risers or behind a curtain or whatever. And we have the next song, which is going to be the um, the wolves song. And of course, this is the one they all like the best because they get to howl and scream and 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 be crazy um, wolves on this one. So I'll get to the uh, let's see wolf one here. And let's why don't we do, with this one? Um, what it doesn't really matter. Um, we could do it with the uh, let's do it with the. Uh, accompaniment track. Let's see, we've got, well, if we do the notation here, you, you'll see it right the best. Where is the teacher? One here. We'll try it here, these lyrics.
basically it just repeats and end up following and carrying on and, and being crazy. So, um, and so it's, uh, that was really fun. And, oh, and by the way, I always do like, um, I, believe it or not, I do choreography videos for all of these. So you can sort of see, um, I'll teach the kids, uh, you can go and they can just dance along with me. Most of it is really super simple because I'm thinking about it for the little ones. Come on, you can do it with me a little bit. I'll talk to you. Do all your favorite wolf moves. Show your claws and your teeth. You can even howl. Ow, 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 ow. And then point one hand. Other hand. Point again. Other hand. Swing your claws. Point up. Thumbs to yourself. Now howl. Again. Now point to your teeth. Show your claws. Grab the air. Thumbs to yourself. Wipe like safe. One hand to your ear. The other hand to your ear. Now howl. Now the rat. Thumbs to yourself. Point. Point. Show your claws. Again. Rub your tummy. And young. Point to the audience. Wag your finger. Point your teeth. Pretend to eat from a cereal bowl. And like the beginning. Point. Swing your claws. Point up. Thumbs to yourself. Howl. Point your teeth. Show your claws. Open them shut like chewing. Thumbs to yourself. Wipe like safe. One hand to your ear. The other ear. Now howl. And this is how a grown man makes a living. Anyway, it, uh, it, it, the kids love doing that, both in the studio. And I, if you see where I'm, I'm over here on this side, we actually, this is a video actually of a real live show that we did last year where we actually staged the show. And you can, so you can even show your kids, um, every one of the songs that are in here, we have this sort of live video of it going here. Here come the wolves. The huge stage. All right. See, I don't want to take all day doing that, but you could see uh, what's going on there. And the kids loved doing the wolves. So, anyway, the big plot carries on. Now the wolves get to talk. We're so scary. We're so tough. We can huff and we can puff. Man or woman, pup or child, listen to the call of the wild. And they all go, oh, 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 oh. wolves, wolves, I hear them humming. Lots of bunnies, I see them coming. Dozens of bunnies, believe it or not, because where there's one, there will be a lot. They're getting close. We're getting hotter. Just the thought makes my big mouth water. Quick now, before we're spied, no more howling. Come on, let's hide. And the wolves go hide and the bunnies enter carefully and they go, be on your toes, be ready to run. This part of the woods is not much fun. Oh yes, this is the scary part, but don't worry, those wolves are not too smart. And the wolves look up from their hiding place and go, hey, not too smart. Anyway, if there are a lot of them, what will we do? Run very fast or that, that they will get you, that will get you through. And then they're energized, the bunny runs across the stage again, playing his up, they go, like that. I'm not that fast, but I have other talents. My cuteness will have to keep them off balance. And all the bunnies go, your cuteness? Like it's the most ridiculous thing they've ever heard. If a wolf shows up, we all better scoot. Wolves don't care whether or not you are cute. But being adorable has worked in the past. It's better work now because I'm not very fast. Look at us. We are different as can be. But one thing we share is as clear as can be. We're adorable.
Okay, so the bunnies get to sing this little song called uh, Adorable. So let me get to that. Okay. Yeah. You think my tabs are disappeared? Okay, here it is adorable. Feel free to be your adorable selves as you sing along here. So anyway, we're getting close to the end here where the, uh, uh, going back to the script, where the, the all the wolves come out from hiding. And one of the first wolf, this is a little copyright infringement, but you can do it without me telling. The first one comes out, they're so struck by how cute these bunnies are that one of the wolves goes, something has changed about me. Something is not the same. Maybe you'll recognize that. Anyway, and the other wolf says, same here. I don't know how I feel. I just can't imagine a bunny for a meal. It's their cuteness that did it. I mean, come on, with all that adorableness, my appetite is gone. One bunny says, it worked, it worked. We are safe at last, but don't take any chances. Let's get out of here fast. A wolf says, but wait, but wait, can we come along with you? We can protect you and see you all through. To the audience, one of the bunnies says, you want to come to the bunny hop? Will the power of our cuteness never stop? Sure, you might even find that we're not all that bad. We'll be the best protectors you ever had. And the bunny goes, this could be the start of a whole new world order. Well, I guess you could come, but we have to inform you. There won't be much food. I feel I must warn you. Well, there'll be plenty of food, but not for your diet. But you're welcome to come if you promise you'll try it. And they all hold up bunches of carrots. And the bunnies go, carrots. And the wolves go, oh, that's adorable. And then they go, we love carrots. And the bunny looks at the audience and goes, who knew? Well, come on along then. It's time to depart. The bunny hop is about to start. And all the wolves go, ow. And then the bunnies go, ow. And the wolves go, oh, isn't that adorable? And finally, they get to the bunny hop song. And if you don't know the bunny hop, probably most of you do. But here it is. It's one thing. I'm going to step back, step up and do the bunny hop with me. Because the whole idea of this one is that you're trying to get the audience to do it with you. Is so you take one heel, put it out, 
and out, and the other heel out and up and back in. Then he hopped forward and back, and three jumps forward. So it's heel, 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 forward, back, jump, jump, jump. And what's really fun about this, we'll do a little bit of it with the song. It was fun is that the whole audience um, is encouraged to get up and do it with the kids. So by the end of the musical, you've got everybody in the gym. And of course, you're going to have some teachers and parents who are clued into this and will, um, you know, be your gophers and jump up and help on, on all of this. But um, let's see, I can just do this. And I'll play this song. So by the end of the musical, everybody's singing, let's all do the bunny hop. Da, 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 da. Okay. And we'll go right back to here. My take okay, get the last one. And we'll do this here. You know what? I'll just play it. I'll, I'll do the, the live kids demo one because you'll see how the parents and everybody get into it, but you can help right along with it. Here it goes. Well, essentially, essentially that's the end of the musical and you can put a big gop in there, but it was a lot, a lot of fun. And especially for the youngest ones and, and the cute factors. And you don't necessarily have to do it Easter time, anytime spring of the year, or just take songs out of it and use them individually. There's so many uh, elements there for you. Uh, I think you'll, you'll find it as a breeze to put together. So Denise, I'll send it back to you and thank you all for indulging me in my little hobby. I'll stop sharing you. <laughs> You're muted. Uh, Denise, Denise, it looks like you are muted. Oh, there you I go. I am unmuted now. Um, my <laughs> daughter is doing this with her first grade and kindergartens in the spring. Oh, so I typically go down and I am either assistant in the classroom or assistant with her children, whichever is most needed. And so I will get to see this again. I got to see it in July with that performance. It's a, the kids' demos and... Honestly, they were so cute. It was it was a phenomenal performance. It um, really, really good. Um, and if you need extra songs, some of the ones that I'm going to go over in this next little section, you could add in. And I think that's what my daughter's doing because there wasn't quite enough. She needs. She has, I think, three kindergartens and three first grades, and she wants a song for each of them. And there wasn't quite enough, so I think she's adding some extras. 
in addition, we have a pet show musical in the program section. And if you want to use some of the bunny songs in the pet show, you could you could do that as well. So my turn to share. I'm going to talk about John the Rabbit, and I'll show you where you can find it on the website. If I go searching and search the song list for John the Rabbit, it is, I believe, in pre-K. And I have, yes, it is in pre-K. I have to say, this is the simplest, silliest, stupidest game ever. But the kids really, really like it. So I line the kids up at one side of the room and I'm at the other. I'm Farmer Brown and Farmer Brown doesn't want little bunnies in his garden. So you can, uh, I'll use this, this. I have two different kids demos. These are my twin granddaughters here. So you get to see my little guys. Uh, the little boy sitting there is William, and William never participated in the entire year. But William, who's right here, loved to listen and watch everybody else. It is. It's cabbage. Oh, John the Rabbit. And you guys sing, yes, ma'am. That's all you have to sing in this song. I sing the rest. Oh, John the Rabbit. Yes, ma'am. Got a mighty habit. Yes. Jumping in my okay, and I'll scooch ahead to where they actually do the. I have to go farther ahead. Over here. So every time you sing, yes, ma'am, you take a little jump closer to Grandma D. Just a little jump because you're little bunnies, not big ones. Oh, John the Rabbit. Yes, ma'am. Got a mighty habit. Yes. Jumping in my garden. Oh, you sang so well. Eating all my cabbage. Yes, yes ma'am. And all my corn. Yes, uh, you can see that I'm using the vegetable cards. A whole bunch of different and ones. All my lettuce. Yes, ma'am. And if I live. Yes, To see next fall. Yes, There might not be. A uh, garden at all. No, ma'am. Shoo, bunny. Shoo, 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 shoo. And I shoo, think that's shoo, the shoo, part shoo. that they just love. And William was never disruptive in class. He just chose to watch instead of participating. And because this was three and four year olds, I just let him let him do what he uh, was happy doing, which was uh, sitting back and watching. But here we have the vegetable word cards that I used. And after we had done the vegetable, all the vegetables with the kids, we'd make up word rhythms with them. Now, it was interesting. There was a Facebook post just this week about Miss Gagne and the cooking network. So if I go into rhythm practice and I go into prepare rhythm, these kids wanted to see the cooking lady. And the cooking lady is me doing all the different vegetables. So I'll go to one, I'll go to carrots and peas. I don't know which one is which. And you can see how we do the vegetable rhythms. Peas, peas, carrot, carrot. Peas, peas, carrot, carrot. Peas, peas, carrot. Say and clap. Peas, peas, carrot, carrot. Clap only. Body percussion. Peas, carrot, carrot. Peas, peas, carrot, carrot. Carrot, peas. And I won't do those. We don't need to do any more. You've got the idea of that. And so in this section of the website, we put in vegetable cards that you could use in your classroom and have kids create their own. Even the three-year-olds are able to create word rhythms. So what I would do is I'd do one pattern first, usually with just four vegetables, and then I'd invite the children, come and rearrange, and they would rearrange. And that, of course, for three and four-year-olds is the beginning of creativity with them. I want to do the chubby little snowman, and chubby little snowman is about a snowman. Um, I think if I search chubby, I'll find it. So here is the poem. A chubby little snowman had a carrot for a nose. Along came a bunny 
And what do you suppose that hungry little bunny, looking for his lunch, ate the snowman's carrot nose? Nibble, nibble, crunch. And the kids really like that poem. And we were able to get permissions. This video went viral and it was on the news channel. And I was able to find the person who'd made it and get permissions. So it's an actual one of our little Alberta bunnies that go white in the winter, eating the carrot from a snowman. It's as adorable as it comes. Bunnies are adorable. So that one is a keeper. That one's a definite keeper to to uh, to do that with the kids. Uh, and the, the cool thing was when I got a hold of the teacher uh, or the person who had uh, her video go viral, it was a teacher from Calgary who uses Music Play Online. I mean, what are the odds? Not not all that good. Uh, Little Rabbit Foo Foo is on the website, and I'm not going to hunt it down because I think we all know it. But what's fun to do with this one is to get out the puppets. And I have a whole great huge bag full of bunny finger puppets. I don't remember where I got these, but I think it might have been um, U.S. toy or I don't remember. They weren't very expensive and there was just a whole whack of them. So I have enough for like seven classes. And so when I do bunny foo-foo, you can see this one is a really cute little um, fairy, the good fairy. If I stop sharing, let's see, where's my stop sharing button? Hmm. Okay, my team, I have lost my stop sharing button. Okay, there we go. So we go, little rabbit foo foo, hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy and she said, little rabbit foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head and the story goes on. But if you look this time of year in the dollar stores, you can find these cute little fairies and little finger puppet bunnies that add so much to your classes. Um, another one of my dollar store finds is this pop up. And let's turn it this way. So I would sing where is bunny and a child i'd take it up to a child and they'd sing come out and i'd wave the bunny at them or you can do it for melodic direction ooh, ooh, ooh. they like that too but my all-time favorite bunny is the folk manis puppet bunny uh, expensive I don't remember how much this cost, but I know it was a lot. But he hides in the hat. And again, this is what I've got a video of my grandson when he was two. He is now 13 turning 14. So 12 years ago, I got video of Hunter. And I say, where is Bunny? And he say, come out, come out, Bunny. And he was so excited when the Bunny came out to see him. Um, unbelievably excited. So very cute little uh, folk manis puppet and these kinds of things will get kids singing like our William that didn't participate because they want to see the buddy come out of the thingy bob out of the hat. So we have alphabet songs as well. Um, I'm going to share screen again and hopefully I don't lose the button to not share the screen. And if I search um, jump jackrabbit, that's our letter J song and it will appear in pre-K. Pre-K is purple, so that's how I know it's pre-K. Um, not everybody might know that we have our wonderful music play teacher, Dana Hero, that tells the stories and introduces the song. She's got beautiful singing voice and is a lovely storyteller. And she did all the alphabet songs for us. And in the printables are alphabet worksheets. If you are a preschool teacher, you are a kindergarten teacher. These are great for you. If you're a music teacher, I might let the um, people in your school know about this. We've got a beautiful set of posters that they can download. And we have the worksheets. Um, there's the story. 
Here's printing practice if you want to send the story home and the kids have a little bit of printing practice. This is, um, this is something that my sister, a kindergarten teacher, created. And she would make all the letters of the alphabet into a booklet, put them in a duotang. And so on the day that they did the letter J story and the letter J song, they would highlight all the J's. She had a class set of highlighters, so the kids would sit at the table and they'd highlight all the J's in here. They'd trace the J's with the dots and they'd count how many J's they found on this page. And then they'd practice printing J's and then they'd draw two things that started with J. So she'd have them brainstorm a list of things. Sometimes they'd go around the classroom and find all the things in the classroom that would start with that letter. This has, it, it's interesting, kindergarten has changed and kindergarten's become more academic. It's becoming more academic again. In Alberta, our curriculum is changing and kids are expected to be able to print the alphabet again by the end of kindergarten. So these will be useful worksheets. As music teacher, I wouldn't do them, but I would make sure that the kindergarten teacher in the school knew about it or pre-K teacher, if there was. Um, Bunny Boogie, it's time for us to get up and do some dancing again. So the Bunny Boogie is in Music Play 1. And you can see I've done a teacher demo here with it. We'll do the lyrics video because it's one of those songs that is very predictable. So stand up with me and let's do the Bunny Boogie. Boogie to the bottom and you boogie to the top and then you hop, hop. Well, you boogie to the bottom and you boogie to the top And then you hop, 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 hop Well, you wave your bunny paws and you wiggle your nose And you shake your bunny ears and your tail really goes And then you hop, 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 hop Well, you monkey to the bottom and you monkey to the top And then you hop, 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 hop Well, you monkey to the and then you hop, 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 hop. Well, you wave your bunny paws and you wiggle your nose. And you shake your bunny ears and your tail really go. And then you hop, 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 hop. Oh, well, you twist to the bottom and you twist to the top. And then you hop, 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 hop. Well, you twist to the bottom and you twist to the top. is the song. That's one of the ones that I think you could do um, if you need an extra song for the Bunnies musical. I think that one would work quite nicely for you. And if I go back here and search, I must be in bad shape. Um, I've got a bunny hop that I wrote and I can do the bunny hop two is in grade two. So orange is grade two. And I'm going to do the lyrics again. Just do the movements with me. And this is an add on. Can you hop? Can you hop and never stop? Can you hop from And now we do the bunny hop too. So, right, right, left, left, forward, back. Jump, jump, jump. You didn't think you were gonna do the bunny hop twice today, did you? <laughs> bunny rabbit, ears go flop. Flip and flop, never stop. Can they flop from tent? Now you flop and do the bunny hop. So it's add on. Right, right, left, left. Jump forward, jump back, and hop, hop, hop. Right, right, left, left, forward, back, hop, hop, hop. Wiggle your tail. So guess what's coming? We're gonna wiggle and ears and bunny hop, all three at the same time. Forward, back, hop, hop, hop. Right, right. Left, 
left, forward, back, hop. Now wiggle six times, jump and bow. Five, six, and take your bow. So that's another one that would be cute to add to the Buddies musical if you need some extra. Okay, exit full screen. And, oh, I'm tired. Um, Peter Rabbit has a habit. That is a replacement, if you wish it, for Lucy Lockett. So it's not in the spring section, but it's, a, again, a really, really good reading song, So Me La. Um, and that, that is one I would definitely do. And um, in grade two and in grade three, rabbits don't have tails at all, tails at all, tails at all. Rabbits don't have tails at all, just wee powder puffs. Second verse, same as the first, a little bit louder and a little bit worse. So a very silly song, but it's me, Ray, Doe. So if you're teaching that in second grade or reviewing it in third grade, it's a really good reading song to add in. Um, kindergarten has Old Mr. Rabbit, which you can either do like the rabbit one from pre-K, or you can do it with bridges. And in this, um, this particular song, the kids demo has a teacher that was doing it as bridges. Every time a person, uh, uh, the farmer caught the rabbit, a new bridge was formed. So kind of like London Bridge, but with a little bit of a twist that was really quite fun. And I think that takes us to 528. And I think we've mostly covered all the, the bunny songs. So I am going to pause, stop the share. Okay, that's where the button is. And um, see if there's any questions for us in the chat. Carrie Lynn or Danae, do we have any? Yeah, um, I actually have no questions for you. Oh, we're such good explainers. You have no exactly. questions for us. <laughs> yep. So just reviewing here and yeah, no questions. We're all good. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Those of you who are listening to this on the podcast, I actually listened to my own podcast for the first time. I went for a walk in the snow this week and uh, I'm trying to describe what we're doing in the webinar for our podcast folks, but it is more fun to be on the webinar because you can see all the motions and do all of it. But um, the podcast is good as well, because if you've got a long commute, boy, you want to fill those up with with good podcasts. John, do you want to say goodbye to everybody? I just want to thank you all for coming today and, and being a part of it. And thank Denise for allowing me to to share my uh, this some time and some of her time today and, and wish you all the oh, best spring. Th this is not sharing my time. This is, you know, <laughs> the, the balance between the teaching songs and the performances is what every music teacher struggles with. How do we do this? How do we balance teaching everything that's in that curriculum and still fulfilling the performances that the parents want? And I think the two of us show how that can be done. And I, I hope- well, We're having a blast doing ideas. it. And I have last minute, and I hope that you'll all join us this summer. Denise and I are going to be wrapping around the country uh, doing a couple workshops together with Artie. And so join us if you have time and uh, and interest. We'd love to see you there. Yeah, live in D.C. and live in Austin, Texas, and then the virtual to follow. And, of course, the virtual is nice if you aren't able to get away to the live. The live, of course, is great. We actually have quite a few registrations already. So people are excited, I think, um, to join us. And I, I certainly hope we... Oh, I'm working on my district to send me to DTC. Yay, we hope to see you there. Thanks so much, everybody. And thanks so much thanks, to everybody. the Music Play team for helping us out here as uh, both John and I are a little technically challenged at times. All right, awesome. Thank you well, so much. Can bunny Thank you, with the best of us. Danae, did you see that? Do we have an Illinois sign-out sheet for tonight? Um, I believe we should. It should be emailed to you. Yeah, it should be emailed. Yeah. Okay, that's great. So thanks so much. We hope to see you and Artie and Mr. Frank in DC or in Austin, Texas. Thanks so much, everybody.